What's up everybody, this is Investing Sensei. So I wanted to make a quick video on the new M1 GUI. So I was logging in to my computer and I was gonna actually make the video on how many dividends we made for the month of March. And then I ran into this. So I was like, let's go ahead and make a video on this first. And um, this is actually on the computer, on the browser. I checked the mobile app and it doesn't look like they have updated that one yet. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So this is the overall basically dashboard portfolio of your uh, account so you'll see at the very top you still see your portfolio name the value of your por of the portfolio itself your gains and your return here and then it'll show when you started investing uh, this one's not accurate because I transferred some of the money from my Robinhood account over to my M1 so they had to reset everything I really started investing uh, January 2019 and then from here you'll see that this pie here they did change the colors on it and so the buttons are a little darker blue over here we can see the graph so it's a little bit different now it's a uh, darker background and then you can actually still toggle through this which it's taking a little bit longer it's hanging value over time so that's pretty interesting to one year it's a little bit sluggish it's what I've been uh, noticing right now but if we scroll down we'll still see the upcoming trades that you can see uh, I'm not an M1 plus so that doesn't apply for me and then you'll see the sub pies here for us so it still looks the same almost very similar and then the description of the pie down here so if we go like into one of the pies you can see here that it'll still show the same tickers that you have for that pie your allocation over here the total value of it so nothing much changed here besides it's kind of like the colors and the format on the pie itself uh, but if we go over here to the activities you'll see that it looks very similar just different color textures uh, we still have access to the ranges, uh, the symbols that you could filter out by, and then the activities here. And you can still click only by dividends and filter out by that. So that hasn't really changed. It's just the structure of it. And then if you go over here to holdings, uh, one thing that I did notice is that at the very, very beginning is that you'll see the total positions you have for the portfolio. Before that, they used to have this at the very bottom. And then over here, it'll tell you how much you have invested and then the value of the portfolio and then the unrealized gains so this right here kind of looks not very appealing like I, I don't like how this looks this they could have moved this a little bit over to the left so that this doesn't have to like wrap around because it makes it very hard to uh, view and then uh, you'll still see that you'll show it'll show you the all the tickers with the number of shares your average price your cost basis, the value, and the earnalized gains. One of the things that would be very useful on this one as an improvement would be if they added the current uh, stock price value. I think that would be very useful. So like right now NVIDIA, I'm at 143, but for me to actually view what the current price of it is, I know that I'm up by 70% almost, but I don't know on it. So I'd have to click on the NVIDIA and then go and look at this price. Then go back over here to click on the back button and then I'm back there. So I, I think this is just a better view if they had basically the column for the current price of the stock. And then if we go to the very bottom, it'll basically just show the end of the stocks. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, we can still filter out by your shares. So like if you wanna do the least number of shares or the one that you have the most number of shares and you know unrealized gains, so now that, that's that's okay. I, I like this part that they actually moved it to the very top. I don't like the last part that they kind of did the wrapping. So that's an area of improvement there. Um, if they if we go to the funding history, still looks the same. They just changed the colors of it. And then um, the bank connection, same thing. It's just a different color on the buttons. But yeah, guys, I wanted to give you guys this real quick update on the new GUI of the M1. What do you guys think of it? Uh, let me know in the comments and uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the video when I 
add up all the dividends for the month of March. So uh, I'll catch you guys in that video. And if you guys haven't subscribed, please consider hitting the subscribe button and bell notification. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. So take care. Bye.